Hey there guys, Fire Alarm NZ here and I'm finally back for an update video. I've been flat out working lately so I haven't had much time for content like this. Um, but today and yesterday I've been working on a huge project which is putting in a door access controller. Uh, so this is the control board for it here. It uses Wigand. There's a reader on the outside of the building, I'll show you that in a second. I also purchased a GSM alarm unit and controller. So that's just hooked into my security system, so when it goes off it sends me a text, tells me what zones have uh, been triggered, or it tells me if there's a trouble, and stuff like that. And it also can remotely open the door, so that's quite a cool function. Uh, so this is the software that controls it, you can see I've already been in and out a few times. So I'll just demonstrate a few things, uh, just how it works. So here we have the touch to exit. Uh, button so it's actually you don't actually touch it you just wave your hand over it and that opens the door and on here you can see if it'll focus that the front door was opened what time it was opened um, but this one's not smart so it doesn't tell you who opened it you can see the status of the door is open because I'm holding it open with my hand and there's the electromagnetic lock there uh, there's the sensor for the alarm and there's the sensor for the door uh, system. So as soon as I close the door, see it closes. And if I open it again, you can see it opens. So that's quite cool. Um, that's about it on this side. So I've got my little Rifford tag here. And I'll take you to the outside and show you how that works. Okay, so on the outside it's pretty basic. You don't really even know that there's anything here until you look at just this little black pad here. Uh, that's the only thing that gives it away. And to get in, all you do is wave your tag. Oh, and the door's open. So it's pretty easy. Um, I'll show you what happens if you're not authorized. So it just flashes a few times, and nothing will happen to the door. So we'll get my other one out. Hopefully I didn't leave it inside. So these three orange ones here are people that have tried to get in but don't have valid codes. You can also set time periods on this, uh, just basic config and access control actually and time profiles so that lets you set what times people can come in uh, what days of the week they can come in just stuff like that so I think that just about wraps up this video it's just a short one I can't show you any of the GSM functions at the moment because obviously I'm using my phone to record this video um, but that'll be an upcoming video so stay tuned for that thanks for watching